About a month ago, I was invited to participate as a content creator in an event to raise money for a mental health charity with the goal of raising $80,000. All of this was put together and planned by Hanani, so massive shoutouts to her. This is something I care a lot for and wanted to take part in it right away. And if you actually want to donate, you can do that already right now by clicking the link in the description or the pinned comment. Now for this event, every content creator in the Discord was given private worlds that has 1000 times XP rates. All of this for a big event at the end that will be happening the 28th of October, which is the day I'm posting this video. Unfortunately, I could not take part in this event due to IRL stuff, but I can at least promote the cost by making some use of these private worlds. My goal for this video is going to be get 99 Slayer from level 1 as a hardcore Iron Man in this one video. Alright, so we are inside of the worlds now. We have 6 hours from now at an absolute maximum. I don't think we need all that time and I do have a bit of a plan on how to do this. And the first thing we're going to do is we have to get some money because I need to get an adamant sword from the Varrock shop. I think that is going to be one of the best weapons for me to use during Slayer. And uh, let's just try out the experience rate. Let's pickpocket this guy right here. And 8,000 experience from one single pickpocket from a man. We just went from 1 thieving to 25. So the first location we're going to is Ardoin. We're going to Edgeville and then using the lever to get over here. We're going to be training some thieving and also get some money from the Knights of Ardoin. Should take literally like 2 minutes to basically get to that thieving level. After that we're going up to Tree Gnome Stronghold to get at least some agility levels. So actually not have to spend so much time running all the time. We won't really have time to get runes in this time. So I will have to run back and forth on my Slayer tasks. Let's actually see how much money do we need for the adamant sword value. It is 2000 GP, so that is not going to be a big deal. We have arrived at the promised land, our starting point of the account. And by the way, in Varrock, when I was there, I pickpocketed a man a couple of times again. And we now have 40 thievings. I can actually pickpocket the guards in here all the way to 55 plus, And then I'll do Knights of Ardoin for the rest of the money. One single pickpocket is nearly 50,000 experience from a guard, so uh, I'm already 60. That took like 5 pickpockets. Now the question is, how much experience is this going to be? Knights of Ardoin is, per pickpocket, 84,000 experience. <laughs> Imagine if the main game was this crazy. Now another problem might be that I need some food for the Slayers. I'm going to be getting some from this baker stall right here. But uh, I think I should be fine by getting some prayer levels later on. Uh, from just killing some monsters, burying the bones. And just using the protection prayers. I think that should be good. Even without prayer potions, I can flick most of the time. You know what? I went for some extra money. And we now have over 4000 GP, 4.6k. And uh, from that I ended up at 94 thieving. And this right here, being a walker, is exactly why I want to get some agility levels as well. Should not take, of course, long at all. So we're going to start off here at the gnome agility course. And I don't think I will have to leave for another one. So how many agility levels can I get from crossing this log balance? From one agility all the way to 24, 7.5k. I do have to say, this server is definitely the dopamine paradise every single RuneScape player is just craving for. Let's see what the experience drop is for finishing this agility course. 40k plus 46,000. One lap of the gnome agility course got me from 1 to 48 agility. You know, I did say I'm probably not going to use any other agility course, but uh, I already hit over 30, of course, and I need to go to Varrock anyway, so I might as well use this one instead. A bit faster experience, and I think my goal is only going to be like 70 or maybe 80 agility. Now, before we can actually buy the adamant sword and use it for a slayer, I need to get 30 attack. And let's actually go ahead and attack this chicken right here, and if we can actually hit anything... 19 attack, we're almost done. It's been a hard grind for sure, but uh, it should be able to be done fairly soon. After our long grinds, we are now done. 31 attack has been achieved, and we might as well also get these bones, bury them, and hit 20 prayer. But let's go ahead and buy the beautiful adamant sword. I think, as of now at least, this is going to be my best in slot weapon for 99 slayer. This will probably be my last lap, 125,000 agility experience and 71 agility, definitely good enough for the grind I want to do. 
We are heading into a very monumental moment of this video. What is the first Slayer task going to be of this entire video? And the answer to that is 19 zombies. Definitely a pretty good task. This task is actually going to work perfectly. After I finish this one, the new Slayer Master I can use is literally right beside it. And also, these of course do drop bones, so I will be getting some prayer levels for those protection prayers in this task. So let's have a look at how much Slayer experience one zombie is going to give me. From one Slayer to 35 Slayer, 24,000 experience. And also the bones, of course, use them, bury them, get some prayer experience. And there we go, that is the last zombie killed. Also, let's bury these bones and see what levels we ended up at. 49 prayers, so we now have all the protection prayers, including redemption. We also got 65 Slayer, 76 strength, 60 attack. 55 defense and 68 hit points, but uh, let's see what the next task is going to be from Vanaka. 19 wall beasts. Good thing I got some extra money because I am pretty sure I need the spiny helmet for that. This is also in the Lumbridge Swamp and I do need a light source there, so I'm going to be taking a lit candle that actually is right here in the Varrock Sword Shop. I had no idea you could actually get a candle from this. We also need a rope, so I'm going to be buying that from Ned in Draenor Village, very close to where the task is actually done anyway, so it's a very good spot to buy it. Truly, one of the weirdest monsters in the entirety of RuneScape, you basically need to go into these wall cracks, and then you basically just have the spiny helmet on you, and it will start attacking you, and it will like get stunned because you have this helmet on, instead of grabbing your head and doing damage to you. But uh, they have quite a lot of HP, which means we're going to be getting a lot of Slayer experience for this, so this might be a pretty good task. So how much experience is one of these going to give us? 105,000 Slayer experience. Can't complain about that. And there we go, that is the task completed. And the stats are starting to look pretty good at this point. 85 hit points and 95 strength. We're going to be getting 99, hopefully on the next task. And 82 Slayer. You know, for the third task, I'm going to be a bit wild. I'm going to be taking a wilderness task, and this could really be anything. So let's see what we get. Yes, I want to take a wilderness task. I understand it must be killed in the wilderness. And we get 85 Chaos Druids. That is actually a pretty good task. I'm probably not going to do the entire task on these Elder Chaos Druids because they do take some time to kill, but uh, it's pretty convenient because I don't have any prayer potions, and there is an altar literally right here. And I can pray everything that I want, and then between the kills, like, this is going to die. And then I just go and pray, get 150k Slayer experience. Oh my god. No way, we got a Laren's Key and Law Rune as well. I can use that for teleports. Ooh, opening, this is going to be so interesting. You know what? The drop rates is also boosted on this server, so I think, to the maximum amount, which is the same that it has on leagues, which I think is either three times increased or five times increased. So that's probably why I got a Laren's Key so early. It's one in 90 normally, and with three times, it's one in 30. So these are going to be kind of common, and on top of that, I don't want to die, but on top of that, we actually get increased drop rates from the Laren's Key as well. So maybe... If really lucky, we could snag a Dagon High piece. After a long and rough grind, we're about to hit the first 99 of the account of the journey to 99 Slayer. 99 strength, if I can actually get a good hit in here. 14k experience left. And there we go, that is 99 strength. No pop-up or anything, sad. But uh, I guess we're going for 99 attack now and 99 defense. You know, I did say that I'm probably going to be using an Adamant Sword from a 1 to 99 Slayer, but I feel like this Laren's Key might have given me a chance to actually get a pretty big upgrade. If I can get something worth 30k from this key, Alkyballs, just pure money, anything that can get me to 31k, I can actually buy a Leaf Bladed Spear. I have the Slayer level for it, and it's a massive upgrade over the Adamant Sword. You know what, I'm going to be buying a golden cape from uh, this guy Darren right here for some luck. Let's equip that, looking fancy as ever. Please, just anything that gives me money. The only things I do not want is the seeds, and I think that's about it. I think the ores I can probably sell to a general store, but maybe not for 30k. This is going to be quite interesting to see what we get. Please, just give me something good. Ah, oh, gold ore. I don't think that is going to be enough. Yeah, unfortunately that was not quite as much as I needed. 5k coins, but at least I got some runes to teleport to Varrock. Man, if only I could sell these on the GE. Unfortunately, there is no one to buy them. And also I'm an Iron Man, so I guess that doesn't work in the beginning. 
But as you saw, I finished off the task on the normal Chaos Druids, and we are now at 92 Slayer, pretty much halfway point experience-wise to 99. We also had 99 attack. Please, Crystalia, can we get a good task? I think that's actually pretty good. 88 and Coos. They should have a decent chance of giving me a another Laren's Key. Oh my god, the leveling is so fast that I actually missed 99 defense and 99 hit points. And we're now at 96 Slayer, and we should be getting pretty close to 99, if not even 99, on this task. We have 41 left to go. No Laren's Key yet, though. Oh, we got another Laren's Key. Unfortunately, I am pretty much almost done. I am soon 98 Slayer. But of course, we're going to open it anyways, at least after I get 99 Slayer, just to see if we can get a Dagon High piece. This anchor right here is actually the last on my task, and fittingly enough, it gives 70,000 experience in Slayer every single kill, and I need 63,000 for 99 Slayer. So this kill right here is going to be the last 17 max hit, very nice, Adamant Longsword, or actually just Adamant Sword coming in clutch. But let's go ahead and get the last kill here, get the 99 Slayer Gold that we had. And after that, we're going to go and get the Laren's Key opened, if this can actually finally die. One more hit, and there we go. That is a 99 Slayer achieved in only two Wilderness tasks, and I think two normal tasks as well. So four overall tasks, and this is the gear that I used for the entire grind. Can we go out with a bang on 99 Slayer, getting something incredibly good from the Lyran's chest? Let's go ahead and see. And we get coal. Well, I guess we're getting coal for Christmas. Now, fortunately, we do not have the Shiloh Village quest completed, so I cannot go and buy the 99 Slayer cape. But what was the whole point of this video? Why did I get 99 Slayer, 99 in every single melee combat stat, even hit points... All of this was just to raise awareness about the campaign we're doing right now. Hanani set this up, as I said at the beginning of the video. We have currently raised $14.5 thousand dollars as I'm recording this right now. And I hope that is going to be raising quite a lot by tonight when the big event is going to be happening. Unfortunately, as I said, I could not take part in it. And the goal is $80,000. So if you have any money, just $1, just anything you want to donate at all... The link to that will be at the top of my description, and I will also leave it in the comment section as the pinned comment. And if you're in a position where you just can't really donate the money, I would really appreciate if you share the link with just anyone that you think would be interested in actually donating to this. But that is going to be all I have to say for now. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one, which is going to be a normal on drop rate video, which is going to be a pretty big one. So I hope to see you there, but until next time guys, take care.